Here's a quick look at the Peak Design Everyday Backpack 20 liter charcoal. Now I have mine all set up for my Tokyo trip with a, a, a few cameras as well as some essentials. So here's a quick uh, run through. Now the sides of the bag actually allow you to um, unzip either way to give you full access. Aside from of course the latch mechanism on the top here, okay, which gives you access to a lot of stuff. Um, this is just an easy way as well. You swivel your back to the front of yourself and then you can unzip this and have access to different camera equipment. So the way I have mine set up is that um, I'm using the Osmo Plus and I don't waste time having to deploy it. So having a vertical space like this with all my attachments all fixed up uh, lets me use the camera pretty quickly. Um, on the side here is actually a protected uh, organizational pouch area where I have a spare Osmo battery and my Ricoh uh, Tether S360 camera um, an anchor power bank with a Nomad uh, power cable and this one comes with three heads here uh, Lightning, USB-C as well as micro USB and then over here I have uh, a, a shelving system set up using the dividers at the bottom I have my cables and power adapters and all that this is my uh, the, kind of like my range finder. It's a Fuji X100F. Uh, it's something that I'm trying to get the hang of. Yeah, I just got this and I want to learn how to use this. Um, to store all this imagery and videos, um, I'm using a WD Passport Pro um, wireless uh, four terabyte hard drive over here, which also accepts SD cards. So you can pop one in and it'll suck up all the videos and photos into its hard drive, so it's pretty cool and got some snacks and pills and stuff. Uh, over here, just a uh, um, surface mouse as well as a strap for the camera, if I want to use that, and a towel, because it's going to get hot in uh, Tokyo this uh, month. And that's a quick roundup of the Peak Design uh, Everyday Backpack 20 liter. Hope you enjoy.